Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're well and good. How have you been? How's your week been? I hope everything is groovy with you. Um, how's life? Today we're going to finish off this painting. I am so excited to do it. I am going to just give you a quick... There it is. This is the one. So I'm going to be flicking over to this camera and showing you in a minute and talking all about the painting. But I, what I really like to do, first of all, when I come on a stream, is just have a little chit chat, do you know what I mean? And just be like, hi, how are you? See who comes in, see how life's going and all that lovely stuff. So yeah, I hope you're doing really well. Um, if you're in the UK, how was your bank holiday? Did you have a nice one? We got all the colours for you. I hope you're loving the background. Can you see, as always the reverse, can you see that we have a fireplace? We have a virtual fireplace. It could look like that the fire is in my hand, which it is not. <laughs> but there is a virtual fireplace. There's also all the colours. If you look over there, we've got like a Thai dyeing extravaganza. And then there's like a portal to another dimension, obviously. Uh, because who doesn't need a portal to another dimension in their lives? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's my artwork on the actual physical board. This is actually real. <laughs> and I've got my little newsletter thing at the bottom there because I have got some exciting news, guys. I am about to launch something that's super, super, super fun. And if you want to know what that is, I'm being a bit cryptic, but basically I'm launching a new kind of online class program and um, I'm going to be launching it this month and I've been working hard all throughout August. I haven't really had a holiday. I've been working hard, making sure that this is going to go all really beautifully and all well and everything. So if you want to find out about it, just go there. Go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter <laughs> forward slash newsletter and sign up. That would be really great because you're going to be the first one to hear about it. You're going to be the first one to get any like discounts and any kind of like cool stuff. Um, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. Hi, Alan. How you doing? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? How's your week been so far? All right. Um, and as you know, if you've arrived here, you know that if you join me live, 7 p.m. UK time every Wednesday. You have to get the direct link and the direct links to these live streams are on my Facebook, my Instagram and my Twitter at Artist Resource. So you have to get it through there. You can't just go to the YouTube channel, which is what I thought when I first started doing this. I thought you could just go to Artist Resource and the, the live stream would pop up, but you don't get it till the day after. So you can watch all the live streams the day after, but to come in and be live, you got to get the direct links. So you got to go to one of those. So make sure that you know that every Wednesday you want to get it in your brain. You want to go, okay, it's Wednesday. I need to go to Artist Resource on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whichever one you use the most. Go over there, get the link and come here. Do you know what I mean? I've realised, this is the 20th live stream that I've done and I've realised that this is the process. <laughs> For me, just the usual, nothing much. What about you? Um, I mean, I've just, like I said, I've been working hard on this, on this like thing, this online art class program that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. I've been working hard on that launch date to be confirmed. Um, and yeah, I mean, mostly that because you know, art just feels like the answer to everything. Like whenever, I, whenever I'm stressed or I've got like thoughts going on or I just need to relax. You know, I just turn to art. Do you know what I mean? And art makes it all better. So, art is the answer <laughs> to your question, Alan. Art is the answer. Oh, and don't forget to share this with your friends as well. Because, um, you know, obviously I'm trying to get these live streams out and about in the world. And the main way to do that is through people sharing. So, if you can share this... That would be amazing and much appreciated. And think about someone that might actually really enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Think like who's who of your friends are kind of a slightly creative or want to get creative? Because all the people I deal with, they're all beginners. People that just haven't even tried it before, think they're not creative. You know, the amount of workshops that I've done 
where people say to me, oh, I'm not creative. And then they turn out to be great. And the work they produce is lovely. And it's like, you know, it's not that difficult. Honestly, it's not that difficult. Take it from me. You can easily learn to draw. You can easily learn to paint. As long as you're having fun. Do you know what I mean? As long as you're having fun. That is the main thing. All right. I'm going to take off this newsletter thing. Let's, oh, let's take off the social thing as well. Because oh, just so you can see the, like, the full effect. The full, beautiful effect of it all in the background. Um, so we're going to be finishing off this Franz Mark painting today. This is... Um, like Franz Mark's one of my favourite artists. He's a, he's a famous artist, a famous painter. This is from 1911, if I remember correctly. It's 1911, and it yes, 1911. I've written it down, so I don't forget. But yeah, 1911. Uh, it was a German artist back in the day, and he liked loved to paint animals. And some of his animals are just gorgeous, including this one which is called the yellow cow. So this is called the yellow cow. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful, like happy cow, like just in the landscape, just having a nice time. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just thought this is such a cool one to start off this, uh, I'm gonna say this term because I work in terms, September to Christmas. Um, how is Brad doing? Who's Brad? Do you mean Zach? Brad. Hey, Brad. How you doing? It's Brad's the surfer. Brad's the surfer dude. I don't know who that is. I'm just making it up. I always think the name Brad, it makes me think of a surfer dude. Uh, but Zach's doing well. Thank you. There is, there actually is no evidence of Zach today, which is unfortunate because usually either I put on his music or he's done the visuals for me in the background. Today I've got some other music on and I did the visuals in the background. So there's no evidence, no evidence, but he's around and he's fine. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so this is a German expressionist painting and we're just gonna paint it and we're gonna have a chit chat and we're gonna have a fun time along the way and like come in the chat because it's always super fun if you come in the chat. Have you ever seen this painting before, Alan? Have you ever seen it before? There's another one that I've taught, which is gorgeous, called The Bewitched Meal by the same artist. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that's what you meant. Um, yeah, by the same artist, Franz Mark. Um, and he did this painting called The Bewitched Meal, which is like a waterfall. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And with the thing with expressionist artworks is they are easy to replicate. Well, semi-easy to replicate i will make it easy for you to replicate um uh, because they're just so colorful the brush strokes are large it's just it's just easy take it from me take it from me i'm a visual person so sometimes it takes me a little while to get the words but when i get the words you know well you can help me out tell me what you think of this painting let me know expressionist i.e expressive anyway should we get on with it that's like a nice little introduction anyway uh it's lovely to have you here alan and anyone else and if you're watching this in the replay welcome how are you try and join a live stream because there's so much more fun um it's so much more fun when you're on the live because you have a good old chit chat you never quite know what's going to happen like now i'm in this little box in the corner uh but you never quite know what's going to happen but always something great is going to happen that is for sure. All right, so let's get started. Have you got your cup of tea? So you can, oh wait, hold on. I say let's get started, but I'm not actually gonna start right this second. Um, have you got your cup of tea? What are you gonna do while I'm painting this? Are you gonna like have a look at the artist online? Are you gonna have some dinner? Are you gonna have a cup of tea? Are you just gonna relax and chill because everyone deserves to like just chill out? And did you know that your heart rate will lower just by watching someone make art online? So if you're feeling stressed and you're getting in your head about something, you can just come along and watch me waffle on while I paint something and just feel better. And you know that, um, I can't remember the exact statistic, but most people come to YouTube for relaxing and uplifting content. Did you know that? 
Did you know that? They do. Most people. I think it's something like 80% or a high 70%. Um, yeah, most people come to YouTube for inspiring and uplifting content. So I was like, YouTube's the place for me. When I was like wondering whether I should go on Twitch or not. I was like, Twitch isn't the place for me. I'm not a gamer. I don't understand all the bits, you know, because you get all these little bits things. If you really want to donate any money to me, you can do that on the YouTube if you want to. So there's no reason for me to be on Twitch. Do you know what I mean? And we can just have like a fun time on YouTube with uplifting content. Uplifting content and cups of tea and British accents. All right, should we get on with it? Should we get on? Should we get on? Should we get on? Okay, let's get on. Tell, tell me that, uh, Alan, can you hear the music? Tell me if you can hear the music. I might put it up a little bit. Let's put it up a little bit. We've got some, um, we've got a bit of deep house happening. So let me know that you can hear it all right. All right. Tell you what, let's flick it along a bit. Let's flick it along a little bit so yeah i'm gonna finish this painting today i'm super excited then i might be on a little bit longer today um just because i'm gonna finish it off and i want to get all the like little kind of t finishing touches done and all that sort of stuff so um yeah that's what's happening here today that is what is happening oh there you go there it is All right, let's do it. Let's switch around and I'll come back. Oh, there was this other thing I was gonna do, actually. Again, just before I start. There was this other thing I was gonna do. Now, Zach bought me this really cool book um, and it's all about colors. And there's like short little paragraphs about different colors and how, like the origins of colors and stuff like that and like it's really good so if you're interested in that i can also read you that at the end as like a little bedtime story <laughs> it was just a thought it might be a bad thought but it's just a thought or not a bad thought but like no one wants that leona no one wants that <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens eh? we'll see what happens let's just get to painting let's just get to painting because that's what we're here for i feel like i should roll up my sleeves but i've got short sleeves on all right so, 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 just bring the mic a little bit closer so you can hear me all right. Elbow cough. <coughs> right, okay, let's do it. So, I have got to, I did this bit here, and I was wondering whether or not, so it was really fun last week when we were, when I started this off, we were chatting about the fact that this yellow cow is jumping over this weird kind of like or just kicking back might not be jumping over because it looks like it's pretty stationary there but like kicking back and all there is is this kind of just like white stone underneath and i was like that is you know like why is he jumping over or her or whatever why are they jumping over like a white egg i was like that's pretty boring so i ended up putting like a little fence in can you see my little fence in here and i was just debating whether or not to put that blue, the other blue post, because I need to get another blue post, but I think it would be kind of there. So you might see like a tiny bit of it there and a tiny bit of it there. So I don't actually think I need to put it in really. Nice to see you, I know I'm really around, but I'm here now. Well, Alan, you're just dominating the chat and that's great. I'm happy, I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy you're here because like, I wanna, be chatting to people do you know what i mean when i'm online like otherwise i might as well just do this in the comfort of my own home on my own do you know what i mean but i like to do it like with people about i like to make it nice and social and when i like to make it um like a, it's an artist support group at the end of the day do you know what i mean supporting each other all right let's begin so so yeah, I hope you like my little blue gate, my little addition, because I always think it's really nice also with famous paintings to kind of add your own little thing. Like it's a bit like, do you remember when you were younger and you wrote essays? So maybe you went to university, maybe you wrote an essay, maybe you were in college, maybe you wrote an essay. 
and you would always get points like pyre marks for not saying your own opinion and I used to think that was crazy because the only reason I was writing an essay is if I want to say my own opinion so I would always give my opinion and I always get like near to the top marks um, but it's a bit like that with the painting when you're looking at a famous painting I think it's really nice to add your own little kind of mark to it and your own little kind of version so what I did with this is instead of doing this like actually like a couple of little animals in the corner I don't know if you can just quite see that there so instead of doing that I minus them out of it and then I put in the gate where the uh, cows jumping over because it's like why not do you know what I mean I w and we had a good old giggle Alan were you there I don't know if you were there at that point last week we were having a good old giggle like coming up with suggestions for what the cow could jump over um like could it be like could they be jumping over a hamburger or something or like you know what i mean something quite ironic or a glass of milk uh you never disappoint leona buddy oh thank you Ella. it's lovely to have you here it's lovely to have you here so let's get on to the relaxing part of the stream i am going to mix up or oh, was showing you what i was going to do so i'm going to mix up can you see in the corner here it's kind of like a purpley pink um it's like a purpley pink sky and there's kind of like it's almost going purpley pink into red over here so i'm just going to pop those bits in and then i'm going to do the black and then i'm going to look over for like any kind of like little details and stuff so really actually hold on i want to just like fix this bit up the fix so i can see I need to see, I've got the, the picture pinned to my wall here. So I've got this one and I've got the one pinned to my wall. Do you know what I mean? Because organisation stations, and hello by the way to all the people that are watching. I can see there's a few people watching who aren't in the chat. So hi guys, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you here. All right, so let's get a little bit of a purple mixed up. Let's get a purple mixed up. Let's get in the painting zone. Let's get in the painting zone. Right. So let's get. I'm gonna get. I don't need too much. We'll just get some. Get a bit of purple action happening. And we're probably gonna need white. So let's get this going on. And it's quite a ready purple rather than more of a blue purple. It's more of a red purple. So we're going to get that going on. Get it going on. And then I thought so. We're going to need some white in here. You always need a little bit of white to help you along with purple. Do you know what I mean? So. There we go. It's going to be nice putting a bit of purple in this painting. Because it's like... It's got almost... All the primaries and all the secondaries yeah it's got all the primaries and all the secondaries so it kind of needs like a bit of purple to just like finish off that color story and then the black is almost like an outline which just kind of like pops it all out because you can see there is actually a little bit of a little bit of an outline with black not too much anyway so I'm just gonna like make sure I can get some of that off all right so oh i did put some red over here or maybe i will use this big brush i'm gonna use a bit of this big brush why not and it's very you can really see the brush strokes in it so i want to mix up some like a bit of a lighter plenty of yellow orange and red yeah it's nice and warming. It's got that happy, vibrant colours, isn't it? 
that's you know all the paintings that I ever choose to teach are always brightly coloured because it's just oh, it's just it's just nicer that way you want something expressive especially if you want to like get results like quickly you want something that's like a little bit I mean it's not too much of white there really maybe just something like that just pretty basic let's see can you hear the music in the background? What's that of interest? Right, I need some more, so I'm going to pull some more out. Oh, don't make it too blue. Another thing that's like really, really super relaxing to watch is like mixing paints, right? Brian Fab like Leona, thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm looking forward to like teaching in person next week. It's been such a long time with all this COVID stuff. I'm not used to it because like for the past 12 years I've been teaching in person. So it's been very strange not doing that. So yeah, what kind of things have you missed that you haven't been able to do? And are you going to get to do them soon? There's a little bit, it's a little bit of purple up here, just a tiny bit. Oh, not much. I'm going to look out for purple. Can you see any more purple? You hear the music fine, amazing. Thank you. It's nice to have you on for a longer time, Alan, because I know you always just kind of rush off. You come on and then it's like... And then he's gone into the night. <laughs> gone into the night. Oh my god. It's actually a little bit pinky there as well, but I'm gonna just like keep it on the purples. Like I said, I am simplifying this painting and making it super easy for like anyone to be able to paint. And it's really nice to like really nice to use like old paintings as reference because they're our history you know history has always fascinated me from a from an art perspective not so much on an anything else perspective <laughs> thanks Ellen <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on trucking today Alan's keeping it going for the chat. I love it though, it's so funny. It really does make me laugh because always the times that I promote the stream the most, I get the least viewers, which makes me giggle. <laughs> but we've got to just, we've got to start going into big old promotion mode. Gotta start getting the peeps in. But I like it. I like it when there's just a few people. It's all good. I don't mind it either way. I'm so used to like like teaching big crowds of people. But it's quite nice to like have it mellow. You know what I mean? Have it a little bit mellow. Do -do. get this actually I want to do it even darker that one I think I'll put that there let's get this dark one happening Alan you've got to remind me where in the world you are For a lot of people in the UK, it was like proper back to work this week. 
and all the kids are going back to school. It seems so weird to even say that after six months of craziness. There's like some kind of like bits in there. I'll just do that. Not too much. Let's get some of this light one. Great job, thank you. I'm just keeping it simple. Like I said, I'm not overcomplicating anything because obviously you could go like super in depth and it defeats the purpose. My purpose is to teach and I want to make things really easy so I'm not going to overcomplicate thing. It's tempting though. I tell you what, it is proper tempting. It's super tempting to want to do more. Always, always. I'm like, oh, but I could just put that in. I could just put that in and I'll put that in there. But no, that is for other artworks that I will do for my own personal things. Like those ones up there. <laughs> like those ones up there. Um, but for teaching, it's got to be simple. Beginners. Beginners, beginners. It's going to look so cool with the black on as well. It's going to look really nice. All right, let's get some lightness. Oh, it's quite hot in here today. Paint's, paint's drying really quickly. All right. Let's get a bit of water in to help the situation. Okay, I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to have a bit of light because this is actually kind of bleeds into this. I want to sort of join that together. Getting rid of that too much of that tail there. Yeah, nice, pretty purple and pink. Yeah, it's nice the way they mix together, hey? Just trying to kind of keep it really nice and simple. Not too much happening. But also just look pretty. <laughs> right? It's got to look pretty. to it. Put a bit lighter in there as well. There is actually a little bit of orange in the sky as well. So anywhere else there's purple. I don't think there is. There's some like deeper reds. Like there is like a deeper red happening. So I could put a bit of that in. Like if I put a little bit more we could go more with like a red purple. And then see where that kind of leads us. That would be quite nice actually. It would be a nice like transitional colour. It's quite pinky as well. It's got a lot of red in it. Let's give that a whirl. Let's give that a whirl. So you could kind of like it transitioning a little bit more ah you see did you see when i added that did you see how it transitioned more it kind of blended instead of being like that stock from red to purple now and this kind of goes over there now it's blended a little bit more i hope you can see that hopefully Hopefully. 
fillet. Fingers crossed. And then I'll put some over here as well. Nice, all good. Thank you. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to deepen this up a little bit. Just kind of go with the painting. And then add some more to like these bits. Oh, I think I need a bit more red actually. Let's get it super resy purple. And more, and more, and more, and more. That's really nice. And anywhere else, maybe a little bit in there. Definitely around here. And definitely around here. So anywhere there's kind of like shadows are happening. That's bringing it a bit more alive. And definitely under here as well. This bit I've sort of made up a little bit really, <laughs> as you do. Um, maybe a bit over here as well. This needs a bit more lightening up. So maybe we'll do that before we do the black. Because I want to like really focus on the black when I feel like I've done everything. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get some like yellow and brighten it up there's like this weird black thing here um so maybe i'll just put a bit of that in there for that weird black thing um this i feel like maybe i'll just water it down a little bit and just get that bleeding into that orange a little bit is called saturation giving it a bit of saturation happening oh yeah let's have a bit of let's have a bit up there i haven't even looked if it's on the painting or not but i want to put it in over there actually there is quite a lot over there let's saturate it again depth oh it just looks so yummy it's so fun i mean i could do there's other bits i could do like with the green and make the green pop a bit more but let's get some yellow happening because it makes sense to do that first and then we can get a bit of green we can check out anything that needs to be checked out and then we can go on to doing the black which is going to be like make the whole thing properly pop it's going to look gorge. Gonna look gorgeous. Alright. Let's get a bit of... So I'm just going to go over, actually, I'm going to just test it really quickly. It's going to be too... Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be good. So I'm just going to go over where I want to brighten it up with the yellow... 
and I'm not um, affecting the yellow in any way I'm just gonna like put it on straight and because yellow is quite transparent I mean not all the time but with this paint it is um, it's gonna kind of like blend in and all you're gonna see is like the whole thing kind of pop I like the yellow me too I'm with you me too just gonna give it like some more vibrancy make it pop like here there is a bit on the painting here if you can see that it's actually there's a quite a bit of like really bright section and mine's definitely kind of darker and I've done it definitely more contrasting than the actual thing see I've done more happening so again it can be like even more simple This bit here is definitely. So that's going to make that pop up. Ah, oh, see, there you go. So now it looks a little bit more like what we're going for. Also, a little bit around the cow's back leg round here is a bit brighter. Because we haven't done that animal in the back, it's quite advantageous to get that on. looking good and then it goes down and then there's definitely some bright bits in here yeah a bit of brightness there's a tiny bit lifting it up there's a like a tiny bit there I mean looking pretty nice I could add a touch of white and do that bit in the sky over here just like scanning over it now and just looking for any any kind of like bit of bit of yellowy white that I can find but I think that's kind of it I think I'm done on the cow, like I can't really see any more like that needs to be done on the cow, it like looks good to me. I mean I think we're ready to go for the black. I think so. I can't see that there's anything else to do, because there's not really anything else on there anyway. Actually, I tell you what, I tell you what. I tell you what right now there is actually a little bit of yellow in the green here round this gate like giving a focus point to this now on the actual painting obviously it's not a gate it is that white egg thing um, but regardless it's giving that some focus so i'm going to brighten that up to give the gate a little bit of focus it would be quite dark in there so i'm not going to do that but i might add a little popper there and i might add a little pop on here because this is not really showing up much this kind of beautiful like frond here that's it is there any over there maybe i'll just add a little bit there just for fun <laughs> just add a little bit in there just for fun all right so and then that's looking good i think we can go for the black and make this whole thing like happen make it all happen all right i'm just gonna move get this out of the way um excuse me when i just like lean over All right, so we're going to get some black happening. I'm going to make this whole painting like pop now with the black. And is 
easy and like pretty like I mean it's interesting the black does have some green in it in places um it does look a bit greeny black to be honest just a tiny bit but I'm gonna just go with plain black for now in the interest of not over complicating things do you know what I mean So, I mean, if I did put a bit of green in it, it would mellow the black out a little bit. But I feel like we just got to go for it. Just got to go for it and not hold back. So, we are going to... use that finer brush to go near oh that's not bad actually that's all right but here i'm gonna have to make it wider because the edge oh it goes right up to the right up to the cow's ankle there nice so many colors so good thank you it is such, it's just so nice isn't it and you just wait when this black is like all in the places it needs to be it's gonna just look proper nice and i was drawn to this as well because i'm actually not really a fan of black like black can just really overpower things so much but i think it's done so well in this painting like there isn't really the dark greens they're like not quite black apart from the black that looks like dark green <laughs> nice i'm gonna have to get the little brush for the hooves and that and then we're gonna go should we go here? Should we just go for it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Music, music. Oh, the music's happening. Music's happening. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Loads of paint on the brush there. Um, I'm definitely going to use a smaller brush around that bit for sure. So I don't spoil that lovely little ear. Don't want to spoil that. quiet now because I was concentrating um yeah get the little brush to go right close there and then we'll get this final one done here
and this is a big chunky one so it goes all the way around to the edge if I was not streaming I would move my page around a bit more It's really popping now. It's popping. It is popping. This one I can go a little bit closer. Always use the black last on whatever you're doing. Black is too powerful. interesting I'm definitely gonna add some I think into this dark green because as I'm looking and squinting my eyes at the picture that's definitely got like the feeling of black in it so this is not the only place I'm gonna put it I've just noticed however that I'm just gonna like fix this a little bit small brush let's do the bits round the beautiful cow's face Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so always do your black at the end. Top tip for today. Top tip for today. Do your black last. Um, the eye does look quite black, so I'm going to put a bit of black in the eye now. Maybe not go quite to the edge. Yeah, no, that's cool. All right, we've got to come down, so let's go a bit higher. I'm going to go and um, get a bit of this tailing because the tail has got a bit of black in the air. Oh, I'm going to have to get a thinner brush. Thinner brush, thinner brush.
what's happening. I'm going to go into concentration mode now with the blacks. But this does go all the way around. And it sort of stops about here and then there's just a tiny bit on the back, back of the back on the back of the back Kenzim, oh, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Happy Wednesday. How's it going? What's your name? I'm Leona. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I was just thinking to myself that all oh, the chat's a bit quiet today and Alan was keeping it going and then there you are coming in. Oh, and then there's Tomiko. Yay. Hey, Tomiko. How you doing? How's it going? I forgot what time it was. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick! It's Wednesday! You know what happens on Wednesdays? <laughs> How are you? How's your week been? I love your studio, so cool. Thank you. I've got all the projections here for your viewing pleasure. We've got a projected fireplace. We've got, we've got going on to another dimension behind there. I don't know if you want to go to another dimension, but that's kind of what's happening. We've got some tie-dye thing up there. It's all going on. And then I've got some of my artwork physical artwork there <laughs> finally not just me <laughs> i'm fine thank you how are you i'm doing really good thank you i'm excited about finishing this painting and i'm excited to teach it finally in person next week and i'm excited to make it an online class very soon you forgot it was wednesday how's your week been to miko how's it going all right we're on the final section here. We're on the final section. We're doing a Franz Mark painting. It's called The Yellow Cow. It's from 1911. And it's gorgeous and colourful and beautiful. Like all the paintings that I teach for beginners. Simple, gorgeous, colourful, vibrant. Hooray. So yeah. So let me know what's going on. Let me know what kind of art you do, Kendim. And tell me if I'm saying your name right as well. Um, I've got the finest brush going on here. We've got a zero, zero happening. So I'm getting all these like little details in. And I've actually noticed there's lots more black than I actually thought there was in this. Lots more black. So I'm going to kind of... It'll look pretty juicy when it's done. Oh, let's go back to the thing. Let's go back to the thing. Let's go back to the other side so you can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, been a crazy busy week. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Um, great piece of art, yeah, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I've done another one of his pieces before. Um, called the bewitched meal which is just like so nice and there's a fox one that I really want to do um, at some point these foxes are gorgeous but something about the light oh don't get your hand in the paint Leona uh, something about something about the happy cow just spoke to me I was like just you know living your life out in nature you know <laughs> it just kind of spoke to me this term so that's what i'm teaching 
All right, what other black bits have we got near the top? I think we've got a tiny bit around here. Thank you, Alan, for hanging on in there and keeping the chat alive. All right, what else do we need to do? All right, we need to do the back piece of this cow here. And then we need to do the, um, his hoof. We need a bit of a hoof. Do, 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 do. Actually, it's not that wide, is it? Oh no, you might need to put a bit more yellow in there. Yeah, I need to put a little bit of extra yellow. Let's do that in a minute. All right. There's a little bit of black there. There's a little bit under there. There's a little bit under here. Just making it pop. All right, let's get that. Let's get that hoof in. With a little bit of a bigger brush. I nearly went in time with the music then. <laughs> Going in time with the music. All right. So this is actually more rounded than I've left space for. And the actual hoof is a bit more rounded as well. Oh, it's a lovely bit of hoof. <laughs> it's a lovely bit of hoof there. I'm going to come over here and we're going to do like a little bit on the knee. And we're going to do these other hooves down here actually. There's a tiny bit of black around there. Tiny bit of black round there. And a tiny bit round here as well, because this gets lost in the darkness. So Tamiko, did you notice? Um did you notice what I did underneath? Do you remember the last time we spoke about the egg? You see what I did instead? The lines are clean, satisfying, it looks like a digital painting. Thank you. Where's well, all about traditional here? All about traditional. I f think it's just it for me. Being a forty-year-old person, uh, it's quite strange to even think of like saying the word traditional because for so long this was just the way we painted and it's just the way we did it. Um, but yeah, it's all about traditional. What kind of art do you do? Let me know. I'd love to know. There is actually a little bit of dark around the udder as well, which I've kind of forgotten about. Could have put a bit around there. All right, anyway, let's get these hooves in. Let's get a bit of hoof action. A lot of hoof action in our lives. kind of blurry here like there's another small section behind there I'm gonna do it like that I think I think I need to add a bit more dark green in there don't want to 
to do that hoof too big. Uh, I also use acrylic sometimes. Watercolours. Oh, nice. And what kind of stuff do you like to paint? Oh, it's a little bit of black behind there. And then... I'm going to get and do a bit of this. Because this is actually super dark. So... I'm just going to kind of accent it a little bit. And leave that dark green. Because I really like it. I don't want to get rid of it. Like on the actual painting, it's probably more black than dark green. But... I just quite like it with both and this is an interpretation but I'm still a beginner oh well if you're a beginner it's really good to look at famous paintings it really really does help you and with me I'm always doing really super expressive paintings because it kind of gets you out of your um, sort of frustration often when you're a beginner like you want to do things quite small and like you want to the amount of people I've taught over the last 10 years, they always want to like get precise too quick. And it's not about that. You want to leave all the precision to the end and you want to get all kind of like the basic structure and the basic colors down and all the base layers. And then you want to go into detail. So this is like the most detail I'm going to do now with the black. Um, and then you get satisfied because you produce something you actually really love at the end of it. And you produce results pretty quickly as well, rather than like something taking ages because you're in an iron about it. Kind of know when to finish, you know what I mean? <laughs> Watching on TV, I one more call I'm expecting. Oh, well, I'm happy you're coming to hang out with me while I'm finishing this off. I hope your artwork's going all right. Let me know if you've got time to put a comment in. Let me know how your art's going. Um... I'm gonna see again all this is almost like everything is almost black but I just can't bring myself to get rid of all of that gorgeous green so I'm not gonna and I'm just gonna do some accents and I'm trying to think like is there like more light on one side and more dark on another but there isn't really so I'm just kind of doing what I think sort of echoes the painting the most just to try and keep the same you know keep the same energy of the painting there's definitely some black on here and we need to see that as well. We can't really see that little bit of that little frond thing happening. We need to see the frond. <laughs> Can I go right up? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I always chose the hardest thing and then I usually get angry and stressed because it didn't turn out like it was expecting it to. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you just got to go big, go for it and, you know, give yourself a time limit to some level. Do you know what I mean? So then you can just go on to the next thing and not stress about making something like super perfect. Because it's never going to be, right? It's never going to be perfect. Right, I'm going to put these weird things in, like, now this got my imagination going here, because I'm like, what are these things here? Like, this is obviously a landscape, but what is going on? Like, to me, this looks like a hoof, because it's a similar shape. It looks like a hoof going into the ground. So I'm like, is there like, you know, is there a dead cow? It can't be a dead cow in this beautiful landscape, right? And then I'm like, well, is it rocks? But like, why are they in the red? And it looks so different to this bit here. And these look like flames. Like, what is happening over here? What is happening? I'm not quite sure. But it would be nice with a bit of black over there. It feels like balance-wise, it needs some. So I'm going to copy that section. I am going to copy it. I'm going to do that bit. So I'm going to put this kind of weird hoof, which I'm calling it. 
the weird hoof will go in here. Got to get your weird hoof in. Oh, and there's a bit more of a point there. Let's get that point out there. God knows what that is. Your weird hoof. <laughs> Your weird hoof. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice. That's all right. That's scary, I know, I'm like, because what else are they? They look different to everything else in the picture. Anyway, you've got to have the balance in life. Not everything's positive, right? <laughs> and not everything's negative either, so. Getting some balance. Brands marking the balance. All right, it's a little bit of, there's a little bit of dark over there. Now, where else? Now, I've started from the top and I've gone to the bottom. But now I'm scanning back over. I'm kind of like, oh, well, this could be a little, have a little bit of black. I don't want to do too much there. I feel like there's a little bit of black there. There's also kind of like a little bit here. Again, don't want to put too much in. I've put some black there. I actually know I haven't, that's dark blue. So let's get some black there. And now I'm gonna have to lift my hand right the way up because I've got wet paint here. Oh, I could do a bit down here as well, couldn't I? Just to get that happy little bit of I'm kind of pleased. I think I might be finished. I need to, there was something, oh, I needed to do that yellow over there, don't I? I need to, because the back of the butt is a bit wider. I've given him a bit of a slim butt and his butt a little bit bigger. So I've got to sort that out. I mean, this is darker, but I don't want to put too much dark in there. Maybe under the cow. The tiniest bit. And maybe under there, the tiniest bit. Um, looks like this is a land on fire. And this is the last cow that survived the fire. I love it. Loving your imagination. Yeah, it's I'm so dramatic. <laughs> That's what we like. Well, last week, Kenny, which you have to come back next week when we start something new. Uh, but last week we were all having a giggle because we were trying to think of different things the cow would be jumping over and I originally said oh the cow's jumping over the closure of all the dairy industry and, and now that they're free and some people said oh no it's jumping over hamburgers because it's oblivious to the inevitable uh, <laughs> and we had a few other ideas as well which I can't remember um, okay I need to do that white so let's get some white on the cow's butt. And we'll fix that up. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of white down first because, actually how much green is there? Probably that much. Um, because the yellow is just gonna be like a glaze. So I'm gonna have to put that down first. That's a bit better. That's a bit more like it. That is a bit more like the actual size. Uh, I'm also losing a little bit of my cow's leg over here. So maybe I should add some red in the background to make it like a bit brighter. So I'm gonna go back to my, while that white's drying. So we're just on the finishing touches now. Imagination can bring us anywhere. It sure can. Uh, talking about places, where are you from, Kedin? Where in the world are you? I like to know because I like to always tell people kind of what their time zone is. Um, equivalent. I mean, obviously you know what your time is now, but I mean for like future broadcasts. Um... Um, maybe a bit 
bit of red behind that. Balance that out a little bit. You're from France! Oh, amazing! How's it been in France today? So it must be 9, 20 past 9 where you are. Right? I have a lot of French clients. All right. Oh, yeah. And then I was going to add that kind of... We forgot about the udder. I want to give it some of this orange here. And there's like some bits around here. I think I'm going to have to get my tiny weeny brush. Which is that black on it. Let's get a bit of this orange happening. I want to get around this bit. Is that blending it too much in the background? No, actually, that's looking nice. That is looking nice. I even feel like it needs to be a bit darker here. All these tiny brushes going, oh, but right now you're in Turkey, are you? Amazing. Going back to where the flights are cheaper. Have they gone really pricey? Like, I haven't looked. Like, obviously, you know, I normally go away every year, but I haven't gone away this year. Um, are they really expensive? Blimey. It's crazy, hey? All right, I'm gonna just define this other a little bit more. I actually think there's actually more space. There's actually more space in between this one. So let's bring that round. There's a darker, even darker section in there. Maybe we'll bring some of that purple in from earlier and get that in there. There's a bit darker there. Yeah, and there's a little bit darker under there as well. I mean, I've actually gone a little bit lighter than it is in the picture. Is actually there's actually more darkness in there but let's make the cow discreet right because <laughs> the corona yeah of course yeah 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 no I get that that's what I'm saying um, that's what I'm saying it's so crazy right um, in my opinion the best part when you make a painting Oh, when you do the details at the end. When you add the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of, because everything just pops, doesn't it? It's like, finally, all your hard work has kind of paid off. So I'm with you. I, I love the drawing stage, and I'm with you. I love the final stages too. Um, the worst stage is just after the middle part. <laughs> The worst stage is when you're like, it kind of doesn't look the way you want it to look. And then you just have to completely trust the process. That's why I love teaching and I love like showing the process because it's really important to understand that like you're not alone in getting stressed out in certain parts. And it's across the board with all ages. It doesn't matter if you're really young or you're really old or you're in between. It like doesn't matter how old you are, everyone will always get stressed at a certain point in the painting. 
and you've just really just got to go for it and really trust yourself and that's one of the reasons I love art so much is because you have to have that confidence just to kind of leap over that scary bit and really go into it um but yeah I'm with you the details is fun right <laughs> yeah you know what I mean um but I think I'm done I think I'm done. It's looking nice. Let me have a look on the on the big screen here. I feel like it's all pretty much there. I actually feel like I could add a little bit of this purple. I mean, I did add quite a bit of the purple, but is is that the exact part? yeah? That is the one I added. Yeah. Because I'm wondering whether it just needs a few more like darker tones, but it hasn't got that in the painting. It just goes with black. I could add a bit of black to the gate, maybe actually, because the blue in the mountains, there's some black in the blue in the mountains. There's some black in the blue. So there's actually like a bit that goes across there as well. So it might be good to add a little bit of black here. So maybe I'll just add a little bit of black down here. Maybe we'll just add just some tiny bits. Just. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy. I don't wanna make it any more complicated. Oh, I've gotta go over the yellow. That's the final thing I gotta do. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do um just go over with the yellow and then that'll be it for me today fun stream as always quiet stream but it's been nice it has been nice right let's go over There we go. As as if it was never there. Oh, the cow's back legs. Do you reckon? Do you reckon I should brighten it up? Shall I put a little bit? Yeah, because it was getting lost with this orange. See this orange here that I put in all here? It got lost. And on the real thing, actually, it's more orange. But I agree with you. I'm actually just going to whack a load of yellow over the top and just lighten it up a bit because oh actually maybe underneath it as well I could give it a bit of dark and that will help it to show up let's just give it a tiny bit of tiny bit of that To help it be a bit more defined. Um, the song's finished and I'm finished. So yeah, so here's the here's the real thing. So you can have a little look. And then here's my version. What's the size? It's A3. So it's about 40 by 30 centimetres. So this is an A4 here. Um, and then I've blown it up and done it on an A3. Proper, actually, I've seen a tiny little bit of black that I need to do. Yeah. The tiniest bit. Here. Boom. <laughs> Boom. So that's it. I'm very pleased. Wow, your work looks amazing. Thank you so much, Kitty. Did I say your name right? Let me know that I said your name right. I'm very pleased with this. This is going to be a nice example for my classes. So I'm happy to have finished it. Um, 
and it all looks good to me. It all looks good to me. Yay! So that's it. That's it for me today, guys. We had a nice little quiet one, didn't we? So uh, next week I'm going to be starting something new, so come on over and check it out. If you don't follow me on the social medias, please do, because in order to get this actual stream, you need to get the direct link from either Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, which the links are there. So you get it on the day. You can't go straight to YouTube and get it on YouTube. You have to go to one of those. Um, and then this video replay shows up on the next day on my YouTube channel. So you can either do that. So there you go. So thank you so much for joining. It was great to have you. If you want to find out about uh, things that I've got coming up, things in the pipeline, then please subscribe to the newsletter, arsresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter, and you shall be notified with all the new things that are happening. And there are lots of new things happening. This is the 20th live stream. And we are just getting started. We are just getting started. There's plenty, plenty of things to do. Um, I'm feeling really happy with the way this has turned out. My happy cow in my happy colourful... Well, it's not called the happy cow, it's called the yellow cow. But it's my yellow cow in the... Ha oh, I'm so glad I've made its butt a bit bigger. <laughs> it had a bit of a skinny butt and now it's got a bigger butt and it all looks better. <laughs> Leona, oh Alan, you're still there. Thank you for sticking around, keeping up the chat. Thank you for sharing with us. Oh, that was my pleasure. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy coming on the live streams, and I hope you'll come and join me next week. I do do the odd little ad hoc live streams on Facebook and on Instagram at Artist Resource. So if you want to keep in touch with me in the week, keep in touch with me in the week. Let me know how your art's going. Like I said, I've been teaching art for. 10 years i've actually been teaching up for 12 years but my business is going into its 10th year next year um i made it <laughs> i was literally about to end the stream <laughs> and now i'm gonna stay for a couple more minutes halo how you doing how you doing darling how's it going <laughs> how are you what do you think of my painting the happy cow the yellow cow no, I'm too late. Oh, I'll stay on a couple more minutes. I'll stay on a couple more minutes. I didn't have that much to do today, so... Cries, oh no! I didn't have that much to do. I only had, like, the blue and the purple. Look, do you want to see a close-up? Here's a close-up. I only had the blue and the purple to do. So, not the blue and the purple, the purple and the black. I will try not to miss it next week too. Yeah, Kadeem, come next week. Come next week, make sure, like I said, make sure you are following me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, whichever your favourite one of those is. Oh, and please do subscribe. I never say it. I don't know why I never say it, but please do subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell because obviously you get notified through there as well. Um, so that would be lovely. I'm so sorry I got distracted by kids stuff. Don't be sorry. It's all right. We've got busy lives, right? Uh, I love the prancing cow. And did you see I added the gate? Do you remember last week we were laughing about what to put underneath the cow? Because on the actual painting, the cow is like jumping over like a white thing. Or sort of leaping. It's not jumping, it's kind of leaping. Because it's got its feet on the ground there. But then it's like leaping over this like white thing. Like it's white egg. White rock. I just didn't like it. I was like, of all the things in the painting, I don't like the white rocks. I'm going to add my own thing. And I added... Um, hold on, I've got all my palettes here. Uh, hold on. Um, so I added the gate, which is very PC of me. Very family friendly. Check out the gate that it's jumping over. Fabulous. So, yeah. And then you can see the little line there because I was wondering maybe the other side of the gate needs to be there, but it actually is behind the cow. If you look from perspective wise, it is behind the legs. It does look like an egg, right? It does look like an egg, and it's like I don't. It's like a rock, an egg, a rock shaped egg or an egg shaped rock, and I'm not interested in that. <laughs> I'd rather it be a gate, like it's it's flying free. It's going out of, it's jumping over the gate. It's like I'm free now, you know? 
That's the good thing about paintings. You can always give it a little story, right? You can always give it a little story. So this painting will be available in an online course coming up soon. So look out for that if you've really enjoyed it and you want to learn how to draw it. Because obviously I didn't show how the, we drew it. And I only did like two little quick things on how to paint it. So there will be the whole process will be in a class. And we'll start something new next week. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Oh, I have started something new. <gasps> I have started something new. I've started something new already. It's really fun. So you're going to have to uh, come and see me on one of the one of these. Or wait till next week and come see that. Ooh. But I hope you're all good. I hope you've had a lovely week. I'm going to go now. And put it in your schedules for next week, right? Put it in your schedule. I probably will do a bit of a longer one next week. I'm sure I'll do like a couple of hours next week. Um, sending hugs from Texas. Thank you. Sending all the love back. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. It was lovely to hang out with you guys. I enjoyed your video. They're fun to watch. Thank you. We'll subscribe and come back next week and follow one of those so you get notified. And remember in your brain, Wednesday, Wednesday live stream. Getting through the week. Hashtag getting through the week with Leona. <laughs> and tell your friends as well if you can, because there's only one way to spread the word, and that's through the word. And is Greece the word? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about now. All right, we have to go. Because <laughs> I just start waffling. I just start waffling, you know. That's why I have to, like, you know, get into the painting zone, because otherwise the waffles come out. And I'm not talking about the ones you grill. I'm talking about the ones that where you just can't stop talking and you're just like, you know, chatting away. Uh, so, yeah, do all the things. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And don't forget to stay creative because that's like the most important thing to do. And art is always the answer, right? So keep expressing your beautiful selves. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye for now. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, look at my dirty hands. Got all paint on my hands. Uh, you work really hard. Thank you so much. Lots of love. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Thanks you all for tuning in. And thanks to those that are watching and not commenting as well. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. See you later. Stay creative.